everybody, welcome back for this Wednesday and another lovely craft video with yours truly, Maddie from Nine Divines. Woohoo! Yay! So, we're going to be doing something simple. Um, like I said, it's really simple, and I've done this kind of thing on my channel before, so we're just going to keep rolling with it. Plus, I thought it'd be cute to incorporate a little bit of magic into our everyday crafts. So, that being said, we are going to be making what is called the Feather Messenger or the Angel Wing Charms. So we're going to be making that in this video, or this video, I don't know why I'm putting down, then this video, next video is coming up here in a second. But um, if you are new to the channel, hello dears, consider hitting that subscribe button for me so you can be here for all of our random content. And if you are my current subscribers, hello loves, I hope you are having a fabulous, fabulous week. Mine's not, as you can tell, it looks like I need more sleep, but <laughs> I feel, feel very, my sinuses are messing with me, so I feel very puffy right here. But. Anyways, you're not here for that. But anyways, the purpose of the feather messenger or the angel wings, they've been called several different things. But um, it's if you find a feather on the ground, it means your guardian angel supposedly is trying to send you a message. Mine that I found was this little gray feather on the ground. And gray means that peace is soon coming into, supposedly soon coming into my life after a storm that I have been through. At least that's what the message is supposed to mean. So that's what I'm hoping it means. If not, you know, it's just a feather on a necklace. But either way, for what I believe, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that message is true. So, but I will leave um, more information down below about what the different feathers mean because each color means something different. Like, um, what is it? The black and white means that winds of change are supposed to be coming your way. Um, the pure black feather means that um, your spirit is reawakening after it's been dormant. So different things like that. So I'll leave more information for that down below. But let's go ahead and cut into this week's craft video. Hi everybody, so we're back with this Wednesday's craft. And for this one, you are going to need your feather of choice. Like for me, I found my feather as we talked about this is the angel feather craft so I found my feather but you could buy one if you prefer if you don't already have one that you have found and then also you're going to need some stones of your choice mine are amethyst just because of what they relate to me it could be any stones that you want and then you're just going to need some other little oddities like some charms a little jewelry finder or connector um, some a little thing to feed your actual like stones on and you're going to need some crimps, some jewelry crimps. The jewelry, jewelry crimps. There we go. Couldn't pronounce that for a second, but there we go. Got it. Made it through. And then you're going to need some jump rings as well. Alright, and your other little supplies, you're going to need just your cord or necklace, whatever you're going to put, be putting this feather charm on. And you are also going to need your random assortment of needle nose pliers, your jewelry finding tools, and some wire cutters, if that's what you choose to use. I don't think I end up using my jewelry finding, my jewelry finder, just to make the hoops or anything. I don't think I end up using any of that, but I know I did use the wire cutters and the needle nose pliers for this craft. Alright, and once you have everything assembled, we can go ahead and start making our charm. The first thing you're going to do is put your, your little crimp onto your feather. So we actually have a way to hang that from our connector piece. Okay, and to be able to attach your crimp onto your feather, you just want to take your needle nose pliers and you want to pinch in your sides a little bit. That way it's a tight, slightly easier to actually get it onto 
your feather. Um, I think for me, it took me a couple of times just because I was kind of fighting with it, trying to get the best position and everything. And I think I ended up having to cut my feather some, like tip of my feather some as well. But um, yeah, so you just want to sit there and finagle with that for a minute, just to get it perfectly secure onto your feather. So, you know, we actually have a way to hang our feather. Okay, and then once you have your jewelry crimp onto your feather, this is where we're going to start adding all of our other little decorative pieces. So we're going to start with our stone. You just want to take your little jewelry needle, or I'm not entirely sure what them things are called. I didn't look it up before, but I'll post it on the screen just so you can see. But we're just going to take a few of our, we're going to take a few of our stones, and we're going to bead them onto our little, um little jewelry thingy little jewelry bar again I can't remember what that is and as you can tell I'm fighting with some of my jump rings because again these are the ones that are sealed at the end I don't have to break the seal before I can use them but yes yeah, so we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna beat a little bit and then we're going to put the charms that we want onto our actual feather charm Okay, so for me, I decided to attach my little crow charm onto my the end of my um my stones with because you know the way I showed you in the video is you have to make two hoops on either end because you know that's where your jewelry finding tool comes in. So you have to make two hoops on either end, and after you put the stones on there, obviously, and then you can connect your crow to the end of those. Now for this section of the video, we are just placing our both of our charms, our feather charm and our stone and crow charm onto our, our little hanging device. You know, I'm using a little filigree kind of a little filigree kind of little dangle pendant thing to actually hang mine from my chosen necklace. So I'm just and I'm attaching it with a jump ring. Alrighty, and so once you have your charms in a position that you quite enjoy or you know that is most pleasing to you, you just want to thread them or place them onto your cord. As for me, I'm using this ribbon with like the double cord necklace. So I'm just going to go ahead and thread that on there. And that is pretty much it for this craft, guys. So yeah, that was it was kind of simple. I know I left some of the steps out, but you know. Some of it you can't really explain, it's more you just kind of have to sit there and watch it. And if you want me to do more in-depth videos about how to put the crimps and stuff on your reason I can, just leave me a comment down below. But yeah, that is it for this Wednesday's craft. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, it's really simple and we've kind of done necklaces and stuff on the channel before, but I thought this would be a cute, something cute to do with this little feather I found and it's probably going to hang in my new vehicle, which has been the source of my stress this week. Let me tell you. Whew, it's been, I know it's not supposed to be easy, but this has been royally just, oh, I'm going to make a video about it. So don't worry. You'll, you'll find out on one of our Monday videos as soon as I pick the down thing up. But anyways, 
I hope y'all enjoyed this week's craft. Let me know if y'all made one of these before or have heard some of this lore before. Let me know down in the comments because I'd love to talk about it and share because I don't know. I've been taught this through my practices, but I think it's a Native American thing. I think I'm not entirely versed in it. I just know what I have been taught throughout my life. So, you know, I, we'll, we'll share, we'll communicate, we'll share our knowledge and to grow on our feather featheriness but anyways i hope y'all have a fabulous rest of your week like i said let me know down in the comments what you thought and i will see you in the next video thank you so much guys bye